It is Dakota College About No Time, and we have Mr. Larry Brooks on the way this morning. Uh, good morning, Larry. How you doing? Good morning. Doing fine. A perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, I know that uh, th- this month, uh, unbelievably, is almost over, which brings us to February. And I know that our good governor has proclaimed February as C. T E month. If you would do me the honors of explaining to me what is C T E. Sure. Uh, so <laughs> C T E stands for Career and Technical Education. Uh, back in the day, they used to refer to it as vocational education. And, and basically, what a C T E program does is, at the college level anyway, is in one to two years prepare students to, to acquire the skills that they need to enter the workforce. And after they complete that one or two year program, they typically earn a certificate or an associate of applied science degree. Okay, all right, so it's the old VOEG program then? VOEG, yep. Okay, boy, I remember that. I remember that back in the day. Those were good classes. And these these are designed to, yeah, get people out into the workforce. And that is, that is great. What are some of the programs that you have at DCB for CTE? Well, our, our largest program program, when we, when we look at um, our sites here at Botno, Minot, and Valley City would be nursing. We have between 90 and 100 nursing students typically within a year. Um, so that, without a doubt, is our biggest program. Mm-hmm. And then we also have some other health-related programs, uh, medical assistant, medical coding. Um, we're in our second cohort of the diagnostic metal, medical sonography program, which is also referred to as ultrasound tech. Oh, wow. And okay. we based that out of Minot. And, and then what we're really excited about is here in about a year and a half, we're going to be opening a new CTE center in Minot. And one of our signature programs there is dental assisting and dental hygiene. Oh, wow. And now, now this, this, new, uh, this new building, it's actually being renovated from an older building, right? Correct, yep. So it's kind of a long, well, long story short, <laughs> uh, it was a Trinity Health building that was purchased by the Minot State Foundation and then they're going to be leasing it to us. But in all practical purposes, it's going to become a DCB building. Wow. And that is just going to make uh, DCB uh, more accessible, Uh, pardon the horrible grammar, but more better, and it's it's, it's going to take it to a whole new level. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, we're anticipating within a couple years to have anywhere from maybe two to 300 additional students pursuing CTE degrees in the city of Minot. And, and and at the end of the day, I mean, fr- from from a school that went you know way 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 back as a forestry school, it has really opened up some amazing possibilities and opened up some amazing opportunities for people uh, who were looking for something that was just more than that. Yes, it has, and and so we we still have uh, you know a, a, a good selection of natural resource mm-hmm. programs. We have fish and wildlife, uh, forestry, rec management. Um, you know, but but then we've also branched into some other areas. So so we have a caregiver program that's designed to prepare students to take care of the elderly. We have a para ed program. We have lots of different programs in business. Um, we've got our photography program, which is one of the best in the country. Uh, we're doing a lot with IT and uh, kind of working our way towards cybersecurity. And then we've got our egg and hort program. So um, yeah, just a lot of really good CT programs and again they're they're designed to get students within a year or two out into the workforce and being productive members of our society and generating bucks in the economy that's right hey I I asked this question uh, quite a bit I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this question out to you if if there were somebody out there that's on the fence about whether or not do I want to go to DCB what would you what would you tell them to kind of sway them over to this side what would you what would you say to them well, one of the, the first thing I would tell them is uh, have them stop up and visit with one of our admissions counselors just to mm-hmm. kind of find out what they might be interested in, but then really emphasize the fact that in a year or two, you can receive your education, acquire the skills you need to get, and some of the CT jobs are called gold-collar jobs because you, you, can, you can get in and out of the program in a relatively short period of time and make a significant amount of money. That's that's hey you know what uh, for for for, for uh, somebody who's uh, contemplating getting that secondary education that is a wonderful wonderful answer. 
you, you start throwing money terms at him, boy, that, that'll, that'll give him a kick in the pants, I think. Oh, without a doubt. And, you know, especially in the area of uh, health careers, you know, we have oh, yeah. nurses graduating with a two-year associate degree in nursing, and they're starting out at sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 a year. And, and, you know, that's, that's amazing because of the fact that they are getting this quality education in such a short amount of time that they're actually getting out there and, and getting their stuff done. And it's it, what a turnaround. And in this day and age, as we know, over the past couple of years, we need as many of those great professionals as we can get. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. They're all very, very uh, good careers, you know, highly respected mm-hmm. and, and very rewarding. Definitely. Larry, anything else you want to throw out there for CTE? Well, um, again, I just uh, the fact that Governor Burgum has pro- proclaimed February a CTE month, so during the course of February we'll be hosting some activities here on the DCB campus in Botno. Okay. Also, uh, you'll, you'll probably be talking to some of our CTE instructors throughout the month, and they'll be able to promote and uh, market their program. Well, bring them on. We love to talk to any and all. Sounds like a winner. All right, Larry, thank you so much. All right, take care. You too, buddy. Thank you very much. Yep, I know. You bet. That's Larry Brooks from Dakota College of Botno, folks. And again, uh, Governor Burgum has declared February as CTE Month. We call it, uh, it's the Career and Technical Education Month. So they've got a lot of great things to talk about up there. So check out the website, uh, dakotacollege.edu, and find out more, all right? Nine above, let's get into our sports update. It's on the way in just a bit here on Sunny 101.9. Come in to MJ McGuire in rugby and warm up from the bitter cold with these hot prices during their winter sale going on now. Check out a 2020 Dodge Durango Citadel.